So the task here is a brief screening assessment, just looking at memory and, and attention in a patient who has been complaining of some difficulties with their memory. The task for the student is to introduce the assessment and try to put the patient at ease um, and then to run through the varying tests in a standardised fashion but also to keep in mind the need to help the patient feel comfortable. So the basic requirement here is uh, an introduction and explanation of what's to be done, a polite and empathic stance towards the patient, a check of the patient's understanding of what's to be done, and then a clear, logical and standardised approach to the various tests. Um, someone, they told me to come here, but I'm not too sure what I'm here for. Okay, good afternoon, Mr. Spaulding. Yes. Uh, my name is Vivek Menon. Yeah. I'm one of the student doctors here. Yep. So uh, I've been told that you've been having some uh, memory problems. I do, but yeah, a little bit, yeah. So I was just wondering if I could ask you a few questions uh, as, a, as a sort of a test yep, sure. to find out how you're going with yeah, that. Yeah, okay, well, so that's okay? about memory. Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. So is it okay if I start the yeah, test? Yeah, It'll just yeah. be a bunch of questions. Okay. And, okay. So can I ask you what the day is today? Today? Uh, I've had a pretty busy week. I think it's, I think it's Friday. Okay. And what, uh, what is the date? Uh, yesterday was the shortest day, 21, 22. Okay. And what is the month? June. Uh, the year? 2, two 11, no, 2, 12. Okay. And what season is it now? Well, it's pretty freezing. It must be winter. It's That's cold. good. Yeah, I think. Okay, so now can I just ask you what country we are in right now? What country? What country? Uh, oh, it's, it's Western Australia. Okay. Yeah. And what state are we in? Hello, state. Uh, no, I think we're in New South, I think. Yep. So. And what city or town are we in right now? Sydney. Uh, but what is the name of the city? Sydney. Uh, no, the, the town that we're in right oh, now? Oh, um, Cardiff. Uh, but what is the oh. greater area? Oh, Newcastle. Okay. Uh, sorry, yeah. yeah. Um, and what hospital are we in right now? Uh, John Hunter. And uh, and in what floor or what area are we in? Uh, I've got no idea. Okay. I just came in and some, followed some signs and yeah. That's good. Um, okay, next I'm just going to ask, I'm going to repeat three words to you. Mm -hmm. And I, I'd like to re you to repeat after me. And I'm going to ask you some questions, and afterwards I'd like you to recall what these three words were. Is okay, that okay? Fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, the three words are ball, tree, and flag. Ball, tree, and flag. I'll give you some. Are, are you able to remember? I think so, yeah. Ball, tree, flag, yeah. yeah. Okay. Next, uh, I'm just going to ask you to do a brief uh, sort of calculation question. I'm going to ask you to start from 100, mm -hmm. and I'd like you to subtract 7 by that serially. Are you able to do that? 100 Starting from minus 7. Just keep minusing 7 and the number. 93. 93. Okay. Uh, 93, 7, 7, 7. 80, 86. Okay, I'll carry on. 69, uh, not 69. Uh, 69 uh, 79. Uh, the next one? 74. 70, no, 70. 72. And the next? 72, uh, 64, 65. Okay. And uh, just with that, I'm going to ask you to spell a word, um, uh, to spell a word for me. Mm -hmm. And the word is world. Mm -hmm. Can you spell that out for me? Spell it out. W-O-R-L-D. Yes. Now, can I get you to spell it backwards? D, uh... No, R L R L W O. Okay. Uh, can right? I? No. Uh, can you repeat that again? R L 
L-W-O, another, another letter somewhere. D, oh, D. Uh, that was incorrect, but it oh. was a good try. Okay. Uh, we'll just move on and, and I'll ask, it was actually D-L-R-O-W. Oh, okay. But that's a good try anyway. And I'm just going to ask you to recall for me the three words that I said to you just now. Are you able to do that? Three, I think it was one. That's all I think. I can't, I can't remember the others. The three words we. Yeah. Are you able to. I mean, you say it, it, I, mean I can think of was tree. That's the only one that's stuck in my mind. No. That's good, but yeah. anything else? No. No? Okay. Um, now I'm just going to ask uh, just a couple of questions to get your general knowledge. Uh, so do you know who the Prime Minister of Australia is at this time? Uh, she's a female, I think. Uh, right, John, Kevin Rudd. No, Julie Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you know who the Premier of New South Wales is? Uh, American girl, Christine, Christine. No, she's gone. Uh, Barry. Same name as me, I should remember that, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you know who the President of the United States is? Uh, Obama? Yeah. yeah. So that's just a brief overview of the questions that, I'm, yeah. that I've asked. And you did pretty well. However, there are some discrepancies that, uh, that, that I can see to do with your memory. Mm -hmm. And I believe that we should look into that further with some further tests. Well, I do have a bit of trouble. I, I tend to walk out of a room and forgot what I, walk, what I went into another room for. I've got to go back where I started from to try and remember what I, what I got to. Hmm. So we, we will try to look into this further. So we can solve your problem that for you. That would be good. That would be Does good. Does that sound good? It does get a bit of a pain, yeah. yeah. Good. That's good. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you. All right. So the student introduced himself well and did explain what he was about to do. He didn't check whether the patient understood the process, but he did check that the patient was happy to go ahead and he did respond in a warm and polite fashion. In terms of the actual assessment, he asked the orientation to place questions backwards and also was somewhat patchy in his checking of attention, but otherwise he performed well. So I would have given this performance a three. To make it a four, he would have needed to perform the space orientation in the right order and he would have needed to know that having managed the sequential subtractions there was no reason to progress to world backwards. He also would have needed to check the patient's understanding explicitly. Thank you.